how do New Jersey's members of the House of Representatives feel about this vital issue? And joining us now from the State House is Congressman Rush Holt. Uh, welcome back to the program, sir. Uh, Thanks, you Mike. had previously said that you were not convinced by the case that had been laid out by the administration about the need for U.S. action. You called upon the president to bring the issue to Congress. First of all, you must be happy about the fact that they did so, uh, but are you more convinced now about the need to take action or not? Well, uh, I, they, they must come to Congress, and, and the chair of the Joint Chiefs actually has used the word war, which I, I think makes it clear that Congress's role in this is more than advisory. Um, uh, yes, I still have, have questions. Uh, of course, there are the obvious questions of who did what to whom and what evidence is there. Um, I'd say further that the evidence can't be just what is presented to members of Congress in closed session. Uh, it has to be uh, understood by the general public and the public of the United States and the public of that part of the world. Um, you know, it's uh, the, the only reason for the United States to do this is not, at, not retribution, uh, not self-defense, because this is not directly threatening us. The only reason has to be to enforce international standards that the use of chemical weapons is beyond the pale, that it is uh, uncivilized behavior. Um, that can't be done unilaterally. It has to be done uh, internationally, uh, multinationally. Um, uh, one nation cannot uh, cannot enforce uh, uh, good behavior on behalf of the world on one other nation. So, Congressman, um, if, I, if I read you correctly, then so, what you're saying is not only would congressional approval be necessary, but it should be predicated, perhaps, upon a U.N. resolution that authorizes or force? Well, or something of the sort. That's right. I, I mean, think about it. Can, can one nation uh, enforce international standards uh, no, it has to be done internationally, and that's the point. We're trying to. The only, the, the only reason for force here, is to uh, make sure that chemical weapons are never used uh, in conflict in the world. Uh, Congressman, uh, let now, me ask you this, if I and, may, and, sir. And a lot it, of nations in the world will say that the United States, uh, if it is to be one nation enforcing that, the United States is not the best considering our role in Saddam's use of chemical weapons against Iran, uh, you know, some decades back. Congressman, let me ask you this. Is there any... You're no stranger. I mean, you know arms control. This is one of your fields of specialty in your, yeah. in your previous career. Is there any doubt that, in your mind, the chemical weapons were used? Is there any doubt that the Assad administration ordered them to be used? Uh, I think it has not been established in the general mind. As I say, you know, the classified briefings are not going to be good enough for something like this. When you're trying to uh, enforce international standards, uh, it's something that has to be accepted and understood internationally. Uh, and uh, I, I don't doubt that something like sarin gas was used. Uh, I, I think it is still, uh, still needs to be uh, demonstrated more specifically and, and, and uh, that that it was done by the Assad government and deliberately, uh, but I think that probably will come to general understanding. Congressman, only but about then, ten seconds left here. Let me ask yeah, you but this, sir. The question sir. is: the question is, what can be made? What can make this truly international? Congressman, well, one more question, if I may, sir. And only about ten seconds yes. left. If you were voting yes or no on the authorization of force, would you be voting yes or no right now, sir? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't have what I need now to vote yes. Uh, I'll put it that way. And I think uh, it's likely, likely to be a no because I don't see the administration presenting the evidence that we're going to need. Congressman Holt, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.